Hello guys and welcome back to another video. I've got, again, lots to get on, as usual. I have got a mountain of boxes that I need to get sent out, but I can't do that just yet. I have got bumpers I need to get made, more wide body, little bits and bobs to get made. Yeah. As always, I've got so much to do. Now I'm waiting for a couple of invoices to be paid off so as I can post all this stuff because I've got about 120 quid's worth of postage to send off here and I've still got another 100 quid's worth of postage for these two bumpers 100 quid's worth of postage for the two bumpers that are sat in front of Gafferman's car so that's another, so that's 300 odd quid in postage alone that I need to pay for this week yay so yeah, I'm going to crack on Hopefully those who are meaning to pay today are going to pay today and everything will be all good and we can carry on flowing. It's purely because it's the end of the month, I've paid my rent, paid my bills, blah, 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 blah. And uh, I may have forgot to cancel my direct debits when I moved out of my last house and I got absolutely spanked for bills that I shouldn't have to pay so I've still got to chase all that up when I get a chance. So yeah, I'm going to spot gel these up, cut the mat and I'll get back to you guys. Alright, so everything has now received its spot gel. The spot gel has cured and it has now received all its choppies, that includes that bumper as well, and all these little bits. And I've popped these fenders out, waxed the moulds up and re-gelled them again. This kit's going off to Ireland and I've already gone over the deadline on this kit so it needs to get done. And these are the fenders that we popped out. So yeah. Let's keep going guys, let's keep at this. Right, so I've got the mat cut and ready for the E46 compact bumper. I've just been contacted by someone who needs some fenders ASAP. Um, normally I don't do it, normally everyone has to wait the four or five week lead time. But he's a part of a small drift team that I've already supplied parts to in the past. He is desperate to get them for this Friday for a show. So, we've got fenders, um, what I'm having to do for time reasons, is I'm going to be using Mitch Gibbons vented fenders, chucking carbon fibre inside them, because that's what the customer wants, he wants carbon fibre, get these sent off and to the customer by Friday so he can fit them for the weekend, and then I'll just remake another set for Mitch Gibbons, like when I'm about to send him the parts, because I've still got a load of parts boxed up, ready to send him, and something like this I can smash up really quick, so he wants them by Friday, he wants carbon added, he's paid a little extra, so yeah, I'm going to get this industrial style carbon now this ain't the pretty looking stuff this is the hardcore stuff for building boats with I have a bin bag full of um, scrap off cuts from my previous employer Oyster Yachts and I do need to get back in contact with them actually to get a fresh bag of carbon scraps because they use massive sheets of carbon for what they're doing when it comes to small off cuts like half a meter size they can't use it they fold it all up goes in a bag and then I can use it which is really handy because this carbon is actually really expensive stuff and it is so good. Literally, those of you who have already had these fen had fenders off me that have had carbon in inside them, they have been that industrial carbon and you know how strong they are. You know how strong they are. So yeah, I'm going to quickly slap the carbon down on this so it can be curing and hopefully get it boxed up and gone by 3 o'clock today. It's now 11 o'clock. So yeah, that's a rush. So I'll quickly lay that up. That's only going to take me 15 minutes to chuck the carbon on that because the parts are already prepped. Chuck a bit of masking tape on the outer edge to stop any resin from running underneath and sticking to the part. So yeah, I'm gonna smash them out quickly. I might get back to you after that. If not, I'll get back to you once I have finished laying that bad boy up for Paul Parnell. Yes. Right, so a bit of time has passed now. Those fenders, they had the carbon laid in them, green trimmed, boxed up, and already sent off as well as the two E30 bumpers and that pair of M3 over fenders from the eBay order. They are all boxed up and they are gone. They are on their way, thank God. Clear table, happy days. So like I say, it's now coming up to five o'clock in the afternoon. I don't know if I said it's bleh. So it's now coming up to five o'clock in the afternoon. I have just finished laying up Paul Parnell's compact bumper. Now this half is, yeah. 
ready for its green trim. Yeah, I want to catch that soon before it goes off too much. I get this green trimmed and uh, yeah, cut the map for the E30 bumper and the wide body little bits again and hopefully get the next set of uh, wide body fronts laid up as well. So I'm going to cut some mat, do some green trim and I'll get back to you guys. Alright, the mat is all cut for the E30 bumper. It is now coming up to 6 o'clock. These E30 bumpers normally take me two hours. I'm trying a different technique where hopefully I can shorten the time and maybe shorten the amount of resin as well rather than chucking the mat on part dry and then wetting out on the part obviously yes I wet the part out first then chuck them out on dry then wet out rather than that I will be wetting them out on a board and chucking them on fingers crossed that saved me a bit of time save me a bit of resin so yeah oh and this has now all been green trimmed so Paul Parnell's bumper will be ready to pop out first thing in the morning um, unfortunately I still have two other compact bumpers I need to box up and send off so yeah it's not going straight away it'll be a few more days before it actually leaves the place because yeah like I say I've still got stuff to box up mainly two bumpers so, yeah I'm gonna get this laid up and I'll get back to you guys Peace. and there we go E30 bumper all laid up and uh, yeah this one went a bit quicker it was certainly a lot easier applying the glass so I'll definitely be sticking with that technique from now on and with the leftover resin I made a couple of skirt flares which will be going with this kit and this kit will be going off to Ireland yeah the first one going off to America second one off to Ireland and a compact kit off to Australia so yeah it is now yeah it's just gone eight o'clock um, so yeah, I probably saved about 15, 20 minutes on this, maybe a little bit more, because I did it in two mixes, had a five minute sit down. So yeah, I probably did it a little bit quicker, so I'm happy with that. Um, I'm gonna sit down, enjoy my coffee, and think about what I'm gonna do next, because I still wanna get stuff out of here, but I also still need to get stuff made. Um, the compact bumper might even be ready to come out of the mold, never know I might I might do that before the end of tonight so that I've got table spikes that I can clear up and get the rear over fenders for this kit on here and started so yeah I'll keep you updated when I decide what I've done next right so I just hung around long enough to get the E30 bumper green trimmed and those little skirt flares green trimmed as well it is now nine o'clock in the evening I've got some editing to do because I need to finish the video before this. Um, so yeah, I'll probably still be at it for a couple of hours. Got messages to answer, emails to respond to. Yeah, evening time is admin time. So that's going to do it for today. I'm going to get some rest at some point. And I'll see you bright and early in the morning, guys. See you tomorrow. Right, and we are back, and unfortunately, it is not as early in the morning as I wanted to. I had to shoot off to Norwich, get some more resin from Martin's Plastics, and had to take this to, uh, what would you call it? An interview, a meeting, something along those lines. So, I was sat in the car for quite a while, waiting. We've now got back, had some food. It is now coming up to one o'clock in the afternoon. So, it's gonna be a late one today. Yay. <laughs> So yeah, plan is get everything that is gelled up, laid up, and then get these two bumpers released and out the way, and the moulds out the way, and then it's going to be wide body rear over fenders and the wide body compact kit. So yeah, let's get into this. I've got some mat to cut and some stuff to lay up. What I'll do, I'll, uh, I'll get back to you once I've laid it all up and I'm about to pop bumpers in. That is all the little bits for the next wide body kit, all laid up and already green trimmed it is now time to move on to oh excuse me it is now time to move on to the front fenders of the kit and once i've got these laid up i'll pop the bumpers out make some space and bring some more molds in and that is the fenders all laid up so happy about that i have also released the last bumper out of this mold i'm now halfway through bolting it all back together 
<coughs> and putting it into storage. Once I've moved that, I'll get the E30 bumper released and that mold moved and we will make some space in here for some big over fender molds. Here's the bumper, the back of the bumper. Yeah, I'm flip it around. I think this one came out pretty good. Bang! Yeah, I'm happy. Obviously, I still need to tidy up, tidy up the edge. But yeah, very happy. I think I've now made three, four, five, six, seven of these. Like literally, the mold got finished, and it was actually pump them out, pump them out, pump them out. So happy about that. That's the last one that was on the list to do. So happy about that. So I'm not gonna lie, making bumpers is a ball ache, whereas making over fenders is nice and easy. Um, so yeah, I will get on with something and I'll get back to you once again. Right then guys, a bit of time has passed now. Um, it is now just gone eight o'clock, well, it's quarter past eight in the evening now. Um, E46 compact bumper mold is now out. These have been green trimmed. I still need to get the E30 bumper removed. Um, and the reason this hasn't been removed and it's so late in the evening as I've just spent the last near three hours discussing a future project with someone. I'm not going to say who and I'm not going to say what because it's all a bit secret at the moment. But I'm very excited because it's something I've wanted to do for a while. Is there dust on my camera? Forgive me for that. <laughs> Please forgive me. Oh, heaven above. Um, yeah, so new project coming. Not naming no names, not giving out any details. Just make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. Obviously, I've got Jamie FYD's work to get done. I've only got four weeks left to get that done. And then on the 15th of November, the new project turns up and we'll begin. And I am very excited about that because this is something I want to do all year and now someone has happened to want to do the same idea and is willing to fund it. So I'm so happy with that. So, so happy, you do not understand how happy I am. But it is now late, I'm tired. There was a lot of, a lot of brain work trying to work out what we were gonna do, the best way to do it, the best style, because we want this kit to stand out. We want it to be an absolute head turner and we want to sell lots of them so, so yeah it's been a long three hours of discussion planning and whatnot i think i'm just gonna have something to eat and go home and get back at it early in the morning because i have shattered and i've got editing to do and whatnot um and yes i know the last video didn't have a thumbnail i just might have uploaded it and forgot to do a thumbnail but We'll see how well that video does without a thumbnail. You never know, it might do better than the rest of my videos because I'm only getting like an average of like 70 views per video. But hey ho, I mean, I can't work out why because when I first started doing my YouTube channel, I was getting like three, four, five hundred views. One of my videos got like 11K views, which I was like, yeah, and then it's all petered out. But oh well, I will keep filming because it's just going to immortalize me on YouTube and hey, you get to see what I do. And my kids get to see what I do when they're all grown up. But yeah, that is going to do it for me today, guys. And that is going to do it for this episode. I know it's probably not been very long. And I haven't had any interesting time lapses for you in this episode. Same as the last episode. I do apologise. But I promise I will do more time lapses. More releasing videos. Because I mean, there's only... You know, I'm not going to do a time lapse every time I pop one of these out. Because it's just going to be the same. I can only time lapse new products or products you haven't seen for a little while. But yeah. That is going to do it for me today, guys. I will catch you in the next one. Stay safe. Love you all. Peace. And don't forget to subscribe. Peace.